Hello, this is Trevor. Today we're working on another uh, XSS vulnerability in Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. This time it's stored DOM XSS. A DOM vulnerability in the blog comment functionality. So we need to call the alert function. All right, well, let's get started. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. All right, here we go. It said it's in the blog comment functionality. So let's view a post and view page source. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, this looks like it's going to be it. Load comments with vulnerable escape HTML. Load comments. All right. JSON parse. Escape HTML. All right. This is going to be our vulnerability. The reason I say that is because notice how it's just replace. Um, let's look up JavaScript replace. So here's, uh, it's only going to do it once. Glo that's a, unless we do something like that. with the value replaced, unless we do a global. And this one does not. So it's going to replace one instance of less than with the HTML entity and one instance of greater than with the HTML entity. If we send it multiple less thans and multiple greater than only one set is going to be changed. The rest will slide right by. Let's see how this gets called. So we get the load comments. It's not called there. Display comments. User comments, comment. Okay, comment section. First, first PE element, doctor. So a paragraph, image, okay, so the avatar, this is a, what is that called, where it's, if this is true, do this, otherwise do this, um, I forget what, ternary, sorry. So it's setting the source equal to comment.avatar escaped if comment.avatar exists. So we should be able to, and if it doesn't exist, it sets it to this default SVG. We can mark that down as an injection point. Comment author if comment website a website uh, ID author uh, href comment dot website. Um, this doesn't look like it's escaped. So no set attribute. Uh, we can't accept. Ex we'll have to check if it starts with like. HTTP, I don't think this one's going to work. Um, I don't think that's the goal either. So let new inner comes at what new inner HTML equals first P E element. That was the paragraph P element inner HTML plus here's where the comment author gets put in and re new enter HTML equals 
whatever that P element gets plus this. So it's concatenating this to it and then setting it as the inner HTML. Remember, inner HTML is we is you know dangerous. We can write cross-head scripting here. It will get appended or in the comment author, it will get appended to this variable and then set as the set as the inner HTML for this first P element, which was created here. So we should be able to inject there. Comment date. Escape HTML comment body. So we can do the body also. So the body, the image, maybe the website, the author, right? The author. So we got a few options. Sweet. All right, enough going over this. Um, basically what we're gonna do is just inject uh, a cross-site scripting tab with multiple less than signs, signs and multiple greater than signs so that our payload doesn't get escaped and uh, gets processed as normal. Um, let's let's test it. So let's do it in the in the um, comment. So I'm starting it off with just those. Um, let's do. Should we do that image source and then uh, on. Error equals console dot log. This is vulnerable. And then boom, boom. Okay, let's do that there. Let's do it in the name. Uh, the email, I don't remember that being vulnerable so blah at example.org website is but uh, this might have some yeah HTTP org we could try something on the end here and i don't see the image tag which we found was i uh, you know the avatar tag which we saw was also vulnerable Well, I should have uh, specified which one so that we knew which one got, uh, I should have changed it. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this is a vulnerable comment, the name. Name. Email blah at blah dot org website um, We're not gonna do the website because I'll just send it like this So both the name and the comment Sweet. Oh, that the comment is the body and the name. 
Okay, so easy peasy. Let's write our uh, our exploit. We'll go here. We'll clear this. Clear. And I'll go here. What is this called? Dom XSS stored. Bam, Dom XSS stored dot pi. Grab our template. And in our template or in our blog class, I believe we have a post already blog post comment. Perfect. So whoops, we want to uh, let's do let's define our payload here. Uh, not comma, and then we'll do blog dot post. And where do you want to do it? The body or the name? Uh, let's go with body. What do I name that? I name it comment. Comment equals payload. That should be it. Uh, we may need to visit the page. The uh visit the blog post in order to get it to recognize that we've you know what we want <laughs> uh, so let's do blog dot get post and we need in both post comment and get post we need the post ID so let's set that here post ID equals let's do two um, post, post ID and post ID. So that's the first one here and the first one there. Perfect. Once that's done, we should be able to do blog dot is solved. So we just need our payload. And if you remember, we just did, uh, boom. I don't have it saved, but that's all right. Let me go here. We just did boom, boom, and then IMG source on error equals, and then we had to give it we had to, uh, in order to solve it, we had to tell it, let's do single quotes here. To do alert. Alert. And then let's end the image tag. Do like that. Let's make it a little bit better by closing that image tag. I mean, that's it. Okay, I think this one's done. I don't, that should work. So we already tested with using console.log. So we should be good to go. Um, let's grab this and what one did we post ID nine? So I just wanna make sure what we practice with won't interfere. So Python, DOM, XSS stored. Blog. Did I? Dang it. I think I've done this twice now. Instead of post, it should be post comment. Lab is solved. Sweet. And did you, we didn't even check, but... It, had to require a CSRF token. Luckily, our, our code was smart enough to handle that. Um, lab is solved. Excellent. So let's just recap real quick. 
Um, when we were looking at the code, we saw that the escape HTML used replace and it didn't do it globally, which is non-recursive. So it would replace one character with this and one character of the result with this. We took advantage of that by creating a payload that prepended the two characters that would get encoded and then just wrote out our script as normal. Once we had our payload, we posted that as the a comment on a blog post. We got the blog post just to execute the um, the uh, payload and then checked if it was solved. That is it. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.